and you eat this whenever a baby is born in the Netherlands. Good morning! Well, actually, it's already afternoon. I had a super important um, meeting this morning. Again, it's very important, super personal, but I can't tell you until it's rounded up. Right now, I'm going to get another... What's it called? Another peeling. Ooh, my skin is already looking so much better, man. All done with the peeling. Look. Well, my skin doesn't look good now. That's always like right after the peeling, but within a week it will be ah, so much better. I'm going back home now. I um, actually I had an appointment this afternoon with the number one socialite of Amsterdam to show you some of his favorite hot spots, but um, he's sick unfortunately. And to be very honest. I am so extremely tired, I just want to lay in my bed. Picking up some groceries, so I have brown rice, quinoa, a croissant for Stefan. And I'm craving chocolate, so I'm picking these dried apricots to satisfy my sweet tooth. I was just wondering, like in the supermarket, what is the most typical Dutch food ever? So I would say, beschuit met muisjes, I will show you in a minute, and, and, Roquefort. This is so typically Dutch. It's just smoked meat. It tastes good when I used to when I used to eat meat. I used to eat it. But um, what do you think? Like apart from cheese, we're known for cheese. This. Um, what do you think is the most Dutch food ever? Wait, let me just show you the beschuit met meisjes. So this is beschuit met meisjes. This is a beschuit, like the the bread thingy. It's it's crispy, so it's like um. It's not like a biscuit, it's not sweet, it's just like dried white bread or something. And these are like uh, candy coated anise seeds. And you eat this whenever a baby is born in the Netherlands. When I first came to the Netherlands and Shannon was born, so Nadine's little sister, this was the first time ever I ate the schuit met muisjes. And it seriously blew my freaking mind because if there's also butter under the muisjes, muisjes like translated is mice. I don't know why they call it like that. Maybe because there's like a little, um, little thing of the anise seed sticking out of the coated, out of the candy coating. So um, yeah, for me, honestly, that is the, the most Dutch food ever, apart from cheese, because I have never ever seen this anywhere in the world. I don't know why this Albert Heijn has all these Dutch souvenir candy thingies because it's not in the center at all. There are no tourists here, but I don't know. It's cute to see. Also craving all the freaking chocolate. I want it so bad, but I'm staying strong. I'm not doing it, but I can, you know, like drool over this. Yummy! Next to the dried apricots, I have Mmm, juicy mango. Oh my gosh. Do I sound like Nigella right now? Seriously, I'm sorry, but I haven't eaten a mango in such a long time and it always reminds me of mango and sticky rice. Oh gosh, I look like a mess. Anyways, it took me such a long time in Thailand to finally try it, the mango and sticky rice. I have no idea why I waited so long because that stuff is... Well, actually I do know because I... To be fair, I could not understand what was so special about rice and mango. And I mean, I like mango, it's juicy, it's delicious, but rice and mango, nee, nee, I just didn't understand until I tried Thai mango, mango and sticky rice. It's seriously, it's mind blowing because the sticky rice, it's so nice and juicy and sticky and a little bit salty. And then you have like the most amazing mangoes in Thailand. They're so sweet and so soft. And then they put these crispy, oh no, no, no. For, then you have like the super sweet coconut cream, which they put on top. And then the, like the kind of crispy, I don't know what it is. I think it's the, uh, the, the lentils, like a little bit like dry lentils or something, crispy lentils or something. It's so freaking good. Can we just, wait, let's do something fun because today, not that much is gonna happen. I'm just gonna chill out at home. Let's just reminisce a little bit about Thailand. So my favorite, favorite part about Thailand, no, I can't pick, like I can choose. Um, 
I love the elephants. Yeah. Did you want some food? Here you go. Here you go. Wow. Oh, wow. Dit is insane. Dit is zo, zo, zo bijzonder. En als je dan in de ogen van zo'n olifant kijkt, ongelooflijk. I love, love, love going to the Thai fortune teller. When you have good luck in yeah. your life, really, very really good. Yeah. When you have bad, it's really, really tough. Yeah. <laughs> If you're in Bangkok, go there. It's at the Talisman Market. And then the beaches. Seriously. Ah, Thailand was so nice, man. All right, well, that was a little bit holiday spirit on this crazy gray day. Let me just show you what the weather outside looks like. There we go, doesn't that look lovely? It's gray and moody and rainy and there's like wet snow and stuff like that. But not to worry, I'm going to watch Keeping On For The Kardashians. I'm gonna light up the Zara gingerbread candle, eat this delicious mango and the dried apricots and just chill. Your homegirl needs to chill, man. Hey, Cloud. Oh, Get out today. Your hair doesn't go with your outfit. You're kind of Halloween-y. Oh, this was nice. I really, really needed this. Yes, the Christmas tree is still there. Hashtag forever lazy. And right now I have enough energy again to edit a video. Listen to this crazy sizzling roasted pumpkin. How good does this sound? Mm. There are still bubbles. Oh no, not, there are bubbles here. Oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna enjoy this. Starting to watch a new show, House of Cards. I've heard this one's really good. Delicious dinner, quinoa, spinach, and butternut squash roasted. Ooh, that was a very promising first episode. Yep, I approve. What other shows do you watch? What can you recommend me? Let me know in the comments below. Off to bed now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, love you. Bye. <laughs>